What's up everybody? Welcome to Happy Go by Hannah. I'm Hannah and this is where I strive to help you cultivate a happy creative life. In today's video, I'm going to be talking once again about how to use Procreate, the software I use to make all of my digital illustrations. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make smooth lines and shapes. And I will cut right to it. Here we go. Okay, so I hope you'll forgive my amateur camera setup. I wanted to try this perspective because I thought it might be easier to see what I'm doing. I'm talking about two things. I'm talking about Streamline and I'm talking about Quick Shape. First, for Streamline, I'm using, under the inking list, I'm using the Studio Pen brush. What Streamline is, is one of the many characteristics of a brush that you can change. So the default is that no streamline is turned on and what that means is that even if you have a pretty steady hand, your line will always be a little bit wiggly, it'll be imperfect, that's just the nature of the tool. But if we turn streamline on, which is something I like to have turned all the way up when I use inking brushes, it will smooth that out for you automatically. It will streamline, as you say. Now that is all fine and dandy, it'll help you make some very nice lines, some nice smooth shapes, but say you need a perfect shape, a circle, a square, a rectangle, the tool for that is called Quick Shape. Now I will point this out under the Preferences tab under Gesture Controls. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can change here, but we're talking about Quick Shape. The default way to use it is to draw and hold. You can change the delay or amount of time that it takes before this goes into effect. I've shortened mine because I know by habit when I want to use Quick Shape. So what this means is that when I make a mark, if I hold my pencil at the end of the mark, it will automatically change that into a perfect shape for me, like so. You can use this for pretty much anything you can think of. You can use it for lines, for ovals, for circles, Ooh, I already messed up, for polygons. Now after you have made a mark and let it bounce into a perfect shape, you'll notice at the top before you tap anywhere else, it will give you the option to edit shape. Now if you click on that, uh, this menu will open up and you can tweak what kind of shape it is turned into. So I've selected perfect rectangle. While we're in, while we're at this screen, if you use your pencil on the inside of your shape, you can drag it around without changing it. If you use your pencil on the outside of the shape, you can drag it around without changing it. If you select any of these blue nodes, you can stretch or alter the shape. And if you touch the line itself, you can affect the size of the shape without changing the shape itself. And then as soon as you tap away, it's solidified. We have ourselves a perfect rectangle. You can use it for pretty much any shape that you can think of. One thing that you cannot use it for though is a curved line that moves in more than one direction. Quick Shape will change it into two sharp lines for you instead. So a way around this is to make two arcs separate on top of each other and then just adjust them to move into each other smoothly, like so. So now I'm going to clear this layer and show you a little example of how I might use Quick Shape. So after each of these pen strokes, it'll open the menu for me. And I will use it to change the shapes. If you notice while I'm drawing the size of my brush change, that is purely because of the amount of pressure I am applying with my pencil. So let's see. We'll make him we'll make him a pretty round bird. Like that. We'll give him a nice tall tail. And see, it gets to be pretty quick for me since I've shortened that uh, delay time. Something else very cool and good to know about the Quick Shape is that it applies to erasing as well. So the eraser, you can change the shape of the brush based on any of these brushes that you have. So I have mine set to Studio Pen with the Streamline on. And now, when I need to make an erase mark, if I hold at the end of that mark, Quick Shape applies to erasing too. It is very convenient. So we'll have that be nice and smooth. Like that. And then, oh, actually, let's see. He needs some legs. He's gonna be a tall, spindly boy. And now something that I didn't really make very clear in my last video, I'll do better. Uh, I'll, I'll try to do better at this. 
This is how you make a new layer, the little plus sign there. And then when you tap a layer, it'll give you a drop down menu of things you can do. I'm going to select copy. And now when I move to the new layer, if I swipe down with three fingers, it will give me the option to paste it. I have two identical layers. On this layer, another thing I can do is select the color I'm using and drag and drop to fill these closed areas. Now I made this one separate because I'm gonna use the clipping mask again, which is in that same drop down menu. And I'm going to use the uh, one of my favorite brushes again on top of this here. Make him nice and soft and golden. And now when I use the eraser on this clipped layer, it won't affect the layer underneath it, like this, which is also very, uh, very convenient. And the reason that I kept this layer separate is so that I can drag and fill this like this, and it'll be separate from the clipped part. Nothing too exciting, but it's still, I think, good to know. This is uh, how you use the Streamline and Quick Shape tools in Procreate. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really hope you found that helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And anyway, I wanna give a quick shout out to my members on Patreon. Thank you to Joanna and Patricia. I am really grateful for your support. If you're interested in becoming a patron, I will put a link to that in the description below. There I post exclusive content of my works in progress and general behind the scenes. Anyway, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I will see you next time. Bye.